All right, this AEW show was the Brody Lee show in Rochester, and this was one of the it's one of the best AEW shows of the year. That was awesome. I, I thought I thought the same thing. I thought it's one of the best shows they've ever done. I um, I mean, it wasn't like there was. I mean, the first match and the last match were excellent. So I, I would say like there wasn't like a they're not match of the year excellent, but but they're excellent matches. Um, there have been better wrestling matches on AEW, including last week, which was, you know, but I just thought for a whole show, there were so many different great elements to this show. I mean, as far as um, just up and down the show and the Brody Lee tribute stuff was, was, you know, um, I got to say this. It was so good in an industry that is usually so bad with this stuff. And they were so good with the stuff that, you know, every time Brody Jr. was on, it's like some people say that they were whatever. I just thought it was like this stuff is so cool and this crowd loves it. And, you know, when when Anna and Ty Conte won or or um, won their match and Bro- little Brody goes out there and, you know, he's real close with Ty Conte anyway. And just watching that, it was like that was really cool in a different way than you expect on a wrestling show. Adam Cole and freaking Jungle Boy was great and 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 sammy guevara i i I mean it's like it's like i knew that this was the time you know you gotta i'm watching this match and i'm watching how you know i knew from the way the match was being worked that that sammy was probably winning because mira was just killing him in the whole match and you're not going to kill sammy unless he's going over and because they killed him and he went over it made the match even better and it was just the right time to do it, and they did it. And, you know, they were totally, like just with MJF's promo, I mean, they were totally trying to establish, even though Jungle Boy lost, that Jungle Boy, Darby Allen, MJF, and Sammy are going to be, like, the four stars of this company 10 years, five years, six years down the line when there is no Christian Cage, when Kenny Omega's body's broken down, and when Brian Danielson is in his mid-40s and all this. They are preparing and grooming, these guys and we're going to see them grow before our eyes and and it's and they're you know it's not like they're not good looking because they are good looking people all of them but they're small you know i mean mjf isn't tiny but the other three you know sammy's not a big guy jungle boy's not a big guy darby's absolutely not a big guy and they don't care that's their this is their future and it's just you know again it's the philosophical difference, and uh, we're going to see how, how it plays out. But, my God, there were, like, again, I was so impressed because it's like it's like it's one thing to have, like, good matches or good promos, but this show was just really good in so many different ways. Adam Colby, Jungle Boy in the opener. I thought this match was awesome. They are so good at getting the loser over in a match where you think this guy shouldn't lose, it's not the right time. But no, no, Jungle Boy had to lose this match. Well, he had to lose them. He he had to lose against Adam Cole. But I didn't think that they necessarily needed to make another match for the Jungle Boy to lose. But in it's doing fine. so, it was fine. They gave him a ton of near falls. He kicked out of the Panama Sunrise, and finally Adam Cole gave him the low blow and the running knee and pinned him. And uh, just a great match. And then afterwards, the Elite all came out. And uh, they had a big schmoz with uh, Danielson and uh, who else came out? It was uh, Christian Luke Cage, Luke 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 And Marco and Kazarian, yeah. And uh, this is going to lead to Brian Danielson versus Nick Jackson on so the we'll Rampage We'll talk about that after this. On Friday, and- yes. And then also an eight-man tag on Wednesday for the anniversary show main event, which is, uh, you know, the one they've been building for, from, for weeks with Brian Danielson, Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy against Young Bucks, Adam Cole, and Kenny Omega. And obviously, obviously this, they are doing a long-term build to uh, another uh, Brian Danielson-Kenny Omega match. That's very clear that that's a direction that they're going. I'm going to guess for the pay-per-view. I mean, it. It feels like that's the pay-per-view match. Um, should be the pay-per-view match, and they usually do what it should be. So, um, And the pay-per-view match will be the one that they... I don't want to say they were holding back in the first one, um, because they weren't... But they were leaving stuff on the table. Like, like the first match that they did was very clear that they were out there to have 
a match of the year and and have it, you know. But they were not exhausting their arsenal. They left a lot in the holster, so to speak, because they knew they were going to do another match. And the pay-per-view match is that other match. So um, it should be the better match, believe it or not, as, as hard as that match would be to top. Um, I thought Adam Cole comes off like such an incredible superstar. He kind of did in NXT, too, but um, especially when they would work big buildings. Um, you know, then he really did, but he was out there and from the music to just everything. I mean, it's like, he's a great wrestler, but there's, you know, there's a difference between a great wrestler and an absolute superstar. And, and he was in every way an absolute superstar. It's, it's, you know, in the long run, in the, in the short run, he won't mean more than Punk and Danielson. I'm not so sure in the long run, he'll mean more than both because he's, you know, eight years younger than uh, Danielson and probably 10 years younger than Punk. And he's just getting started, and he's already super over. And, um, yeah, when he, you know, eventually does his babyface turn and goes against Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, I mean, they're, that is going to be big, really big. I mean, he'll be like Adam Page and, and maybe bigger because I think, you know, but – but on the same level, he'll be those those that'll probably be it. The, like him and Adam Page will probably be like the two monster baby faces in the long run in this company, and along with uh, Sammy and Darby and Jungle Boy. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.